Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Candles by Victoria Hall. Now, before you guys tell me, I thought you were on a wax ban, I thought you weren't buying anything. Yes, I do not buy anything wax vendor related. I still am purchasing my Scentsy. I am purchasing some of my like luxury candles, but... Candles by Victoria, to me, is not a vendor wax. She is very out of the vendor world. The toxicity, the Hunger Games, the restocks, the pre-orders, all of that stuff. Candles by Victoria is her own entity, her own company in Van, Texas. It's Victoria, Matt, Chelsea, and Chelsea's husband or boyfriend, fiance now, Wade. And they have Candles by Victoria. I've been ordering from Candles by Victoria on and off for so, so many years, but I've been struggling with my vendor wax and performance, as I've said before, and I know that Candles by Victoria always performs for me. I don't have anything left from her because, I don't know, I just, I get in that vendor wax world and mentality where all I want to do is order from the restocks, order from the pre-orders, all of this, let it cure, all this, and it's just not worth it anymore. It's very just overwhelming, and that happens to me. I'll get into it, then I'll step away. I'll get into it, then I'll step away, and I'm not afraid to admit that things change, people change, and to me, I'm at the place right now where vendor wax and keeping up with the restocks and the pre-orders and all of that is just not my priority right now, and Candles by Victoria created the scent shot. She is the home of the original scent shot. I cut these guys in half, sometimes a quarter depending on my room, and it fills the room. These are triple scented. Her stuff is so strong, you guys. So strong. And let me tell you, they're great. They're $2. They've always been. And it just, it's a great value. Two ounces of wax, $2. I cut it in half again, sometimes a quarter, just depending on the scent. So I picked up a bunch of scent shots. I did go on her website and print out, well, I typed up the scent list, like the scents for the descriptions. I also picked up a few candles. And with every order, you do get a free scent shot. It's just random in your order every single time. So this is my free scent shot. But we have a lot to talk about. So without further ado, let's get into it. I also want to add that this order was not as expensive as it normally would have been because of my rewards. I've been buying for many years, and you do earn reward points when you purchase from her. Another benefit over Vendor Wax. And yeah, so she... Then you can redeem those for money off of your orders. So I believe I saved like $70 on this order. I threw away my invoice, but something like that. So also justified the purchase. But why don't we start, as always, with the free scent shot. This one is French Vanilla Pear. Looks just like that. Now, most people take the lid off, pop the bottom out, and then smell the bottom. I don't want to do that because it gets all over because the wax is, like, on the rim of the scent shot, and then the wax just goes everywhere. So I'm just going to give you a cold sniff haul really quick on the scents that I picked up. Some are favorites that I just wanted to try again, and others are new to me. This is nice. It's definitely like a very light vanilla pear scent. It's not one I would ever order. It's just not one that I'm like, oh my gosh, I absolutely need French vanilla pear. But it's nice to have, and I will definitely give it a try. But before I get into the scent shots, let's talk about the candles. The first candle I picked up these are her Country Comfort Jar 16 ounces. They are available in two different sizes. So it says Candles by Victoria here, Candles by Victoria on the lid, and these are triple wicked. Now, one thing about Victoria's candles, they are zinc core wicks. So I don't know if you can see those little black dots in the wicks. That is, it's not lead. Lead wicks are illegal in the U.S. They are zinc. So it keeps the wick stable, it keeps the wick straight the entire burn, but you are going to want to trim these very short, about a quarter to an eighth of an inch whenever you first burn it, so definitely really short, and that way that prevents soot. Don't let them burn for more than four hours. She does include a candle tip uh, sheet little card in her boxes, and as you can see, 
These are what she's known for. Her delicious, decorative, the donut shop candle, the caramelized praline, the apple pie, and the raspberry peach macaron. So super fun, decorative bakery candles, but you definitely want to make sure you are burning them safely when you are burning them. All right. This candle I picked up in Santal. Now, let me tell you, I got this in a scent shot last order. And on cold, when I first got it, it was fine. All of our things are hand poured to order. So it does take a little bit longer, nothing crazy. But after letting them sit for about a week, then smell them, you really get a lot more depth to the fragrance, which is what I did with this. I got this order about last week, just let it sit, opened the box, took everything out, unwrapped it. They wrapped them in bubble wrap so well. You are amazed at how good these are wrapped. Nothing has ever come broken or melted, even in the summer. And this Santal is 100% a dupe for the Le Labo Santal 26 candle. I actually just recently picked this candle up from New York City in the Le Labo store. I've been burning it, as you can see. Now this candle, okay, made for Drew Yock in Nolita, NYC. This candle is eight ounces and this was $82. This was like $16.95. Again, luxury candles, regular candles. It literally is the exact same. So I'm going to see how this performs in a candle form. I still do love my Le Labo. It's just something about the brand and the aesthetic that's just, I love. But if you can get a dupe for a lot cheaper and still have that great scent in the air, why not? Next, you will not be surprised when you see the name of this scent. I've been obsessed with this lately. Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. Now, I did not let this pull out all the way the first burn. I did start burning this because I had to go to sleep and I don't like to leave a candle burning when I'm asleep. But her wax is so soft that over time, it'll just eventually melt down and it'll be super even. But I will do progress on my what I've been burning and melting videos, my empties, um, on the progress of these candles. But Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie, it's that amazing oil that I love. It's that rich, deep shortbread cookie with a beautiful blackberry jam. And whenever you burn it, it's like it comes to life, like it's truly being baked. And it just makes your home smell so warm and comforting and cozy. I love blackberry jam butter cookie. It's one of my favorites. Now, this was such a whim, such a just spur of the moment candle for me. This is Sunshine Kiss. And it is a mix of her Papaya Water Lily, which is really, really pretty. It's like a sweet, fruity floral with blushing peaches, which is her peach. I can't remember which peach it is. And white nectarine and pink coral, which I'm really, really kicking myself in the foot for not ordering white nectarine and pink coral in this order. But it's okay. It's in my shopping bag for my next order. And I actually am going to order it in liquid tarts, which is like a patented thing that she does where it's a liquid oil that you just squeeze into the warmers. They're made for like Scentsy warmers. So I'm really curious to see how those perform for me. And the liquid tarts, they're definitely pricier. They're $25, but it's like a big 16 ounce bottle. So definitely in the sense you really, really love. For me, I love white nectarine and pink coral. So I had to pick that up. But anyway, this is in Blushing Peaches, which is a blend of that and peach. This bright yellow sunshine wax. This is so pretty. It's juicy. It's a little bit floral. I get a little bit of that peach in there. It's so pretty. I love this. This is going to get tucked away in a cool, dark place for summertime because I hate the summer, but I do sometimes like the fruitier floral scents in the summer. So this, this bright sunshine yellow jar will be perfect to burn in the summertime. Now, I also picked up a reed diffuser. When you come upstairs into my apartment, there is a hallway before you get into my apartment and there's no plugs or anything like that. So the only real option for me to do is like from Scentsy, like a fragrance flower or a reed diffuser. And I do have a reed diffuser there now that's almost empty. And I'm like, I want to try Victoria's reed diffusers. I really wanted this particular scent, but 
Again, it is in Santal, which is the Le Labo dupe, but a diffuser for them is like $200, and for a hallway that I'm just in and out of, no. So I did pick up a diffuser from Candles by Victoria. They're $27.50. If you don't know, you unscrew the cap, stick the reeds in, the wick, the wood from the the wood absorbs the oil, and then the fragrance comes out of the reeds. And about once a week, just flip the reeds in the oil. That way, the dry wood can absorb more of the oil. And then every week, just flip it until this oil goes down further, 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 and further. These are incredible. The strength of reed diffusers, if you put them in a high traffic area, do not stick them in a big bedroom. Do not stick them in the big living room. Entryways bathrooms, but not in like a corner of a bathroom. They have to be somewhere where you're going to walk by and the wind from the draft is what's going to create the fragrance. That is key to these diffusers. I'm telling you guys, once you do that, it's just perfection every time, but you have got to do that. You've got to put it in an area where you're constantly walking by it so that way the airflow works or by like a heating vent or anything like that where the wind is going to blow it. I'm telling you, if you do that, Reed diffusers work beautifully. I already have two in my cart from her for the next order. Bath Time with Pooh, which is a dupe for Honey, I Wash the Kids from Lush. It's beautiful. And then Pink and Lime. It's Pink Sugar and Lime. And her lime, that scent, another one I'm kicking myself for not ordering, is so good, you guys. It is so bright, so perfect for summer, and I know it's going to be so strong in the Reed diffuser. Anyway, I alphabetized all the order, all the scent shots that I picked up, and then I also organized them in this basket the same way. So, we're already like 10 minutes in. Let's dive in to the scent shots that I picked up. First one I got is in Amazing Grace, and yes, this... Oh, Amazing Grace, here we go. And yes, this is the dupe for the philosophy, Amazing Grace, which is just so pretty. And another thing that I love about scent shots is... This isn't one that I would want a giant amount of wax in, right? Or a big candle. It's something that I just want every once in a while. It's pretty, it's feminine, it's floral, something nice for the bathroom or in the bedroom, and I can do it one time or two times, and then that's it. And if I want another craving of it, I can order just one scent shot. It's a light pink, really pretty floral. It says, a uniquely feminine blend of soft floral blossoms accented by a hint of light musk. Love. All right, next, I have had this one before. Oh my gosh, here we go. Apricot crumb cake, or apricot. I say apricot. A perfect blend of sweet apricot, brown sugar, and vanilla cake. An amazing scent that is just so yummy. This is so good. I've had it before. I will always buy this one. It's rich, deep apricots. If you're familiar with like an apricot jam, you know what that's like. Really deep, vibrant, fruity with the brown sugar and the cake. It's so good. If you like apricot scents, you've got to try your apricot crumb cake. It's a bestseller for a reason. It's so pretty. Next, we have bamboo and white grapefruit. This is one of the most amazing fragrances we have ever smelled. This fresh, complex fragrance begins with white grapefruit, pedigran, and tangerine, mandarin, mimosa petals, rainforest bamboo, juniper berry, and musk. So, got a lot going on there. This is so pretty. If you're familiar with bamboo fragrances, they do have that really fresh, crisp, green, earthy note. Definitely can pick that up. But with the white grapefruit, which is just a really bright, it almost leans effervescent, but there's no bubbles in here. But you can almost get that vibe from it. It's so pretty. I love this. This is going to be an incredible, like, cleaning day fragrance to just brighten up the house, especially spring cleaning. Next, we have brown sugar shortbread. Now, brown sugar shortbread is brown sugar and granny's pie crust. We'll get to granny's pie crust in a minute. Oh, is this amazing. And you can also see, look at the indentations there. It's from the lids. So her lids have indentations. That's how full these scent shots are, you guys. So definitely cut these in half or quarters. This is so good. It's rich. Decadent brown sugar, which brown sugar and wax just makes everything more magical. And then a hint of that granny's pie crust, which I'll talk about that amazing fragrance in a second. Next, we have cantaloupe lily. Cantaloupe lily. Fresh, juicy cantaloupe softened by the sweet scent of blooming lilies. I've had this before. 
I've also had her playing cantaloupe before, which is awesome. I love melon and wax, and her cantaloupe is the most authentic cantaloupe melon scent I've ever smelled from anybody. And that's that cantaloupe, that beautiful, rich, fruity cantaloupe with a hint of fresh white lilies. It's so pretty. Oh, I need more of that for spring. Next is chocolate banana. This is, again, this is how I feel about scent shots. I don't love chocolate scents, but every once in a blue, blue moon, I crave something chocolatey, and this is the right amount for me to enjoy and be done with. Rich, creamy chocolate and ripe, fresh banana. And who doesn't love a chocolate-covered banana? It smells exactly like it. A little bit runty on the banana, but that's general for fragrances. But once you warm them up, the banana note really does come out. Oh, it's so pretty. Excited for that one. Now, I've been craving watery, like, rain scents lately. It's been raining a lot, and I don't have a ton of rain scents, so I picked up a few. This first one is Dancing in the Rain. And this one says, a beautiful combination of English ivy and sham rocks rock kiss. Melissa, which is her other daughter, mixed these two together and reported to our CB CBV wax addicts that she wanted to roll it out, uh, roll around in it. Our wonderful customer, Jacqueline, helped name this new fragrance creation. It's really pretty. Now, I don't remember English Ivy. Shamrock Kiss, I kind of remember, but not, like, off the top of my head. This is so pretty. If you like aquatic, wet, green fragrances... This is totally it. I know whenever it gets warmer out, like 60, 70 degrees, and it rains, and you have the windows open to freshen up the air in your house, this is one for you. And I know that's what I will be doing with that one. Next, we have Forest Rain. And Forest Rain is aromatic Norfolk pine, sandalwood oak moss, tones of light tropical fruits all combined to bring you this fragrance of the Hawaiian rainforest. Lush and green, tranquil and serene. This is very green. Almost spiced, which I assume is like the pine and the oak moss. It's like a very spiced green. A little bit of the wetness from like the rain, but oh yeah, this is interesting. It's not one I would always go to, but I think it'll be nice in, like, a bathroom to freshen it up. But that greenness is kind of throwing me off. But I should know. I mean, it's called forest rain for a reason, right? It's foresty. It's green. All right. Granny's Pie Crust. Now, listen. For those of you who love the scent of pie crust but are ch crust challenged, now you can experience that same wonderful buttery aroma. Listen, I've had so many pie crust, waffle cone, those type of fragrances, and they all smell the same, like nothing. This scent I've had for years is the only scent I've ever smelled that truly smells like buttery shortbread pie crust. It's incredible. Some people get like a dill pickle note from this. If I really think about pickles when I smell this, which I despise pickles, by the way. I think they're absolutely disgusting and vile, but if I really think about it, I could kind of get pickle juice. It's not pickles, it's pie crust, and when you melt this, this is one that the second it goes in the warmers, your house is instantly filled with incredible, delicious, warm, buttery pie crust. I'm obsessed with this. I can't get enough, and she does create a scent, too, in candles and in wax where you can mix scents together. I need to order one mixed with Granny's Pie Crust. I have a couple ideas for that one because it sounds divine. All right. I want to say I wanted to order Lemon Pound Cake, but I clicked this by mistake. I'm not upset, but I, I don't remember ordering this one. Lemon Pomegranate. And this is an amazing blend of fresh lemons, pomegranate, and iced strawberries and cream. It's good. I'm really picking up on the strawberries and cream, though. Not the lemon or the pomegranate. Which is interesting. Like, the slightest, slightest hint of citrus. But I'm mainly getting strawberries and cream. I, again, I'm not sure why I ordered this one. I thought I might have ordered lemon pound cake and clicked this by mistake. Because it's like a scent list and you just click them. Not sure. I'll leave the link to Candles by Victoria down below. But I'll melt it. I'll see. Her scents definitely come alive when you pop them in the warmers. Next, we have Honeysuckle. Now, Honeysuckle, 
Fresh honeysuckle blended with jasmine, rose, and lilac. This is so pretty. I love the scent of honeysuckles, though. I love spring florals, honeysuckle, lilacs, anything like that. Roses. And this is it. This is a beautiful, sweet, succulent honeysuckle scent. Oh, I'm so excited to melt that one. Next, Ice Orange Butt Cake. Victoria has one of the best orange fragrances I've ever smelled. It smells like a true, freshly squeezed orange and not artificial. And this is no exception. This is really yummy. Sweet vanilla icing tops this buttery vanilla cake with a top with a touch of orange to round it out. This is so good. If you've ever had nothing but cakes, it's like a chain franchise that's all over the U.S. This gives me nothing but cakes vibes. So good. So good, you guys. Yum. I love it. I'm obsessed. I could eat this, but I'm not going to. Oh, so good. Iced orange bunt cake. Love. Love, 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 love. Next, lilac. Again, I said obsessed. I love lilacs. And this smells like a beautiful, powdery, fresh lilac scent. Like a beautiful, fresh, full lilac bush in bloom, this fragrance will arouse your senses. There's nothing like a fresh lilac. There really isn't. And this, again, is no exception. It's beautiful. It's fresh. It's lilacs. Oh, I love. And, like, I feel like even if you're not a super floral lover... Lilacs are just something special. Like in the spring, it's just beautiful to have a lilac in a like a lilac bush. Obsessed. Next, magnolia blossom. With a light and floral top note, followed by the wonderful citrus note, this fragrance gives you the absolute true fragrance of the magnolia blossom with none of the overpowering perfume smell found in so many other magnolia fragrance oils. This is a very sweet white floral. So if you're like trying florals but you're a little nervous i think going for like a sweet floral or a fruity floral is your vibe and this should be your vibe i love this i love magnolia though homeworks had a magnolia candle that i was obsessed with years ago and this kind of gives me that vibe like a very sweet white floral now this was a scent victoria had years ago i don't remember ordering it before but i love the scent of figs and this is mediterranean fig pure essence of mediterranean italian fig sun-baked and bursting with fragrance earthy essence and oh so sensual this scent is simply incredible and will blow you away It smells like fig. If you're familiar with the scent of green, earthy, sweet figs, you know what this smells like. And that's it. It's that really sweet, you either love it or hate it, fig fragrance. And I absolutely love it. I need a lot more of this. It's so good. Fig is just beautiful. And the color, outstanding. Fig, to me, is seasonless. I can melt fig scents any time of year. Next, we have Oak and Lavender, and this is bunches of hand-tied lavender with a woody red oak, cedar, and musk note, like a walk through an outdoor farmer's market. Drop in the paper. I love this, but I need to melt it, because the lavender is definitely like that earthy, purple, obviously purple, uh, English lavender, or, you know where it's very, very bright and a little bit herbal and not more fresh or clean, like soapy. And then mixed with the woody oak wood, really nice. When I melt this, I want to see how it transforms, because like I said, her scents transform on warm. And I could see myself ordering more of that, just depending on how it warms. Ocean Mist. A sensual, sexy fragrance with hints of salty mist that you only smell when you're at the ocean. Wonderful fragrance for both men and women. This is pretty, it's like salty sea air. That's what it smells like to me. Yep, it smells just like salty sea air. Like, rich, aquatic, little hint of sea salt. I love salty sea air, though, and it's nice to have a really, really strong one. Next, we have orange chiffon bunt cake. An oh-so-creamy, decadent orange cake sprinkled with orange rinds and freshly baked chiffon with a warm, buttery, caramelized vanilla and maple base. Only thing missing is a fork and a plate. Wow. Okay. Iced orange bunt cake is simply cake with an orange juice drizzle. 
This is the whole nine yards. This is that like rich buttery cake filled with like an orange curd. So think lemon curd, take out the lemon, insert the orange, a little bit of maple, but not like maple syrup because I don't like maple syrup. It's really good. Ooh, I'm gonna have to have a battle of the oranges to see which one I need a lot more of, but that is beautiful. Iced orange, orange chiffon bump cake. Yum! And then we just have orange juice cake. Orange juice cake. And this is the scent of freshly squeezed oranges mixed with your favorite white cake. Yep. So this is definitely more orange juice than the iced orange bunt cake. And where the bunt cake is more like a rich yellow cake, this is definitely a white cake. It's definitely just giving you the bakeriness, but not any like vanilla. Definitely more just like fresh orange juice cake. Really good. Like poke cake, where you poke the holes in, pour the juice over it. Delish. Peanut butter and strawberry jam. Okay, Victoria has an incredible peanut butter set. And you know how, like, peanut butter was just becoming a trend in vendor wax? She's been doing it for years. And this is peanut butter and strawberry jam, just like the name suggests. Yummy. So her peanut butter oil is like you open a jar of Jif, and you're smelling it out of the jar. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And her strawberry jam, I actually ordered it on its own. Strawberry jam. And my favorite strawberry jam is L3's. This is the L3 oil. It's the same. Whoops. Yep, it's the same. And this says, a smooth, sweet strawberry enhanced by del delectable sugar warmed to, per warmed to perfection. Strap me a bib and bring me a jelly spoon. I'm digging in. That's cute. Yeah, it's awesome. So... This is peanut butter with that strawberry jam. This is just strawberry jam. And her strawberry jam is delectable, delicious, and I know I need more of that. Pink rose cupcake. And this one is sweet and floral, a perfect blend of both. And this is pretty. It's like a rose cupcake. If you don't like roses, you're not going to like this. But this is like straight up rose and cupcake. It's pretty. I like it, though. I love cupcake scents, and I love rose. And like I said, I'm in the minority when it comes to rose scents, but I love rose. Speaking of, I just got plain old rose. If you're a rose person, this is the scent for you. Pretty simple description. And yep, yeah, it's a little bit sweet, like a little bit of a, like a sweet red rose, but definitely like a bright red rose. Oh, it's so pretty. I love. Ah, roses just make me so happy, and they're always so strong. I always get great performance from rose scents. Next, we have rain, and rain is the smoothing aroma of fresh water during a short spring rain shower, a refreshing and relaxing scent. I haven't smelled the rain oil plain on its own from other vendors. This is pretty. It does smell like a little hint of spice, and I don't know why. Unless it's just like that crispness of the rain, but I'm getting like a hint of a spice. I'm not exactly sure why, but this is a really pretty scent. Really pretty. I could see myself melting this regularly, especially, like I said, during rainstorms. Raspberry coconut muffin. I've definitely had this one before and really enjoy it. It says sweet, tart raspberry, rich, creamy coconut with a rich, bready note. A party for your scent palette. And this is really pretty. I think I can actually pop this one out. Yep, because there's... and Okay. Do you see how juicy and oily these are. Like, her scents are so strong, you guys. Let me pop this right back in. So good. So good. Raspberry coconut muffin. Again, I'm not a huge coconut person, but certain bakery scents, when you pop coconut in them, it just makes them a little bit more creamy. And that's what this does. It just makes the raspberry muffin a little bit more creamy. And that's incredible. Serendipity. Now, this one is crushed almond and sweet cherry lead to the rich notes of toasted coconut in this fruity scent. A background of creamed sugar and warm vanilla bean completes this sweet lounging longing that the fragrance creates. I will say, I don't love this. I don't love serendipity on its own. I might have to blend this with things. The sweet almond and the cherry 
are just kind of funky to me. I've smelled other serendipities I like better. So we'll see. I'm on the fence. I'm not sure how I feel about her serendipity yet. Next is strawberry cookies. Here we go, strawberry cookies. And this one is warm out of the oven strawberry cookies. Now, I've never really eaten a strawberry cookie. I should because I love strawberries. And I love this. This is beautiful. This is fresh. It's yummy. It's juicy. With a hint of the fresh baked note that comes from a strawberry. So strawberry cookies. Or it comes from a cookie, not a strawberry. Last four. We are getting through the scents. Succulent and sandstone. Now this just super intrigued me. As you see, I have lots of succulenty little things behind me. I love succulents. A refreshing fragrance composed of crisp sage, tonka bean, and ironwood notes. Crisp, clean, fresh, and just plain amazing. This is so good. Oh my gosh. You immediately pick up on the sage. Absolutely. And I have I have a very high-end perfume from Byredo. It's called De Los Santos, and it's like sage and palo santo wood. This definitely reminds me of that sage in there. That bright, crisp fresh sage. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I could melt this all the time. And I see she has a three wick succulent candle. It's beautiful. It's literally like a three wick bowl and it literally has succulents on the top. I'm obsessed and I might need that in this. We'll see how this performs. Next, sugar cookies. Plain old sugar cookies. And this one is fresh baked sugar cookies right out of the oven. And yeah, it's a little, it, on cold, it smells like a snickerdoodle, not a sugar cookie. I get like a little bit of, sh a little bit of cinnamon sugar. So we'll see. But right now, it just smells like a cinnamon sugar cookie, not just a plain sugar cookie. Next, we have vanilla cream raspberries. And I love me a raspberry. And this is rich vanilla cream and ripe raspberries. Look at how those indentations are in this one. Deep in there. Her raspberry is not the best raspberry jam. That raspberry jam oil that's like truly rich, thick raspberry jam. This is more perfumey raspberry. Either way, it's still really good. It's just not that rich raspberry jam that I know and love. I'm going to have to send Victoria some of my raspberry jam from VCS that's just so incredible and juicy so she can smell that raspberry jam. But this... This is good. I just, I need her to get that raspberry jam oil in so I can order. Because I think peanut butter with her raspberry, with that raspberry jam and her peanut butter, a marriage made in heaven. And last but not least is white peach and silk blossom. Elegance is the first word that comes to mind when describing this upscale complex fragrance blend. A beautiful arrangement of sophisticated florals, including peony petals, muget lily, and silk flowers, Floral sandalwood and floral musk with effervescent top notes of fresh peach, mandarin, and neroli blossom. This fragrance is similar to the scent of Caress Daily Silkening. I didn't know that. It's really pretty. And now that I read that, it does smell like a feminine body wash. I ordered this because I thought it would be a really nice, clean bathroom scent. Which, a woman's body wash would be a bathroom scent. And that's what this smells like. Like, just a feminine body wash. It's not bad by any means. I don't know. I just thought it would be more peachy. It's definitely more like women's body wash, women's shampoo vibe. Anybody could use it, but like, obviously I use women's fragrances all the time, but fragrance doesn't have gender, but this definitely leans more feminine. It's pretty though. I have to melt this in my bathroom, but my bin, alas is empty. It's going to get filled again with these scent shots and tucked away so I can get to melting. But thank you all so much for watching. Let me know, have you ordered from Candles by Victoria before? What are some of your favorites? What do I need to try? Again, I've been ordering on and off for years now, like since I was a little kid, and I've always loved it. It stayed the same. She stayed true to who she is. She is elevating her labels, which I love. Like, look at how pretty this label is Candles by Victoria. I love it. So she's just branching out, doing lots of awesome things. I love Victoria and her whole entire family. 
But make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, that way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. I love you all so much. Be kind, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys!